Hi there, I'm Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I want to show you one of the beautiful hidden functions of Excel. And by hidden, I mean it's not available in the Insert Function dialog box. And when you start typing the name of this function, the IntelliSense list doesn't pop up. So let's see in our example, I have a list of names in column G. And then I have the date of birth for each one of these names. And then for those who passed away, I have the date of death. I created a drop list in cell C1 based upon this list of names. And when I select a name from the drop list, I'm able to extract by using a VLOOKUP function the date of birth of this person. If the person passed away, like let's select a different name. So if I scroll down and select the last person in the list, well, this person passed away, William George passed away on September 20, 2013. And I was able to extract with another VLOOKUP function the date of death for this person. Look at the label in cell B3 and cell B5. They change based upon the situation, whether the person is still alive or passed away. So if I select a different name like this one, look at this, your age is. And at the same time, I use the date difference function to calculate how many years, how many months, and how many days this person lived. If I select a different name, let's go to another person. Let's select this one, Aida Makar was born on January 6, 1936, and then she passed away on December 16, 2011. So she lived 75 years, 11 months, and 10 days. Everything is beautiful. Everything is dynamic. Let's see how we create this setup from scratch. Well, on my second worksheet, I would like to start to create this project. So I have a list of names. And the first thing I'll be doing is to create a data validation list. So I'm selecting this cell. And then I go to the data tab of the ribbon. With cell C1 selected, I click on data validation. The shortcut is Alt-DL. And then I want to create a list. So I hit Tab, L, Tab. And I select the list of names. These will be the values that will appear in my drop list. And when I hit OK, I would have created my drop list. Let's check. Click on the down arrow and select one of the names. Well, the second step in cell C2, I would like to create a VLOOKUP function that extracts the date of birth. And the VLOOKUP function will be copied down to cell C3. But in cell C2, I would like to extract a value from the second column of this table. And the name of this table, if I click on the Design tab, is Birth Death. So I would like in cell C2 to extract the date of birth, which is coming from the second column of this table. But when I copy down, I need to extract a value from the third column. Let's see how we do this. I'll be typing equal V lookup. I type equal V lookup, and then I hit Tab. What's your lookup value? It's the value coming from the drop list. And because I'm copying down, I want to lock this cell by hitting the F4 key. Then I hit comma. What's your table array? From where are you extracting this value? Well, I want to extract it from the table named birth death. And then I hit comma. Well, for this cell, I would like to extract a value from column number 2. I could type 2. But when I go down, I would like to extract a value from column number 3. So to increment automatically, I'm going to use the rows function. So I type rows. And then I hit tab. I'm selecting any two cell on top of each other so that the difference in the row number will be 2. And then I close the bracket. But because I want to create an expendable range, I select the first reference, hit the F4 key to lock it. So E1 is not going to increment, is not going to change as I go down. But E2 is going to increment. So the rows function in this cell will return 2. But when I copy down, it will return 3. And then comma, the last argument of the lookup function, are you looking at an exact match or an approximate match? Well, I'm looking at an exact match. I could select false or simply type a 0. And then when I close the bracket, that should return the date of birth of the selected person. My next step is to create a similar VLOOKUP function in the cell below. But right now, you see it blank. Because if the person is still alive, I want to see a blank. I'm going simply to copy this VLOOKUP function down. And here it's returning a 0 because I don't have a date in this cell. This person is still alive. So I would like to modify this function and create it conditionally, on condition that the date of death is not blank. So I would like to cut this function. And then I hit Control-X. And then I start typing equal if. 
and then I hit tab. If what? Well, if this VLOOKUP function is returning a blank, so I'm going to paste the function and say if it is equal to blank, double quote, double quote, or equal to empty, then I would like to return nothing, double quote, double quote. Otherwise, the value is false for the if function. If it is not blank, then I would like the date of death, so I'll be pasting the VLOOKUP function one more time, and now I can close the bracket for the IF function and then hit ENTER. Now it's returning a blank. Let's test it with another name. Let's say I go to the first name and then look at this. It's returning the date of death. Accordingly, I should create a dynamic label that will show DIED ON in case this person passed away or it will show nothing if the person is still alive. So it's another if function. I'll type equal if, and then I hit tab, and I'll say if cell C3 is equal to blank, then comma, then I don't want anything. Otherwise, I want a text, and this text will be died on, and then I hit enter. So this person died on, the, on December 16, 2011. In cell B5, I'll be creating my next function that will create a label for the calculation of the date difference function. So in cell B5, I would like to evaluate the cell above B3. In case it's blank, that means the person is still alive. I want to return the text your age is. If it's not blank, that means it has a text inside it died on. That means the person passed away. So I would like to return the text live. Let's create this if function equal if b3 equals double quote double quote and then comma. I would like to return the text your age is and then comma. Otherwise I would like to return the text lived and then I close the bracket for the if function and then hit enter. So this function is returning lived because this person passed away. Otherwise if I select a different person then it will return your age is and here the cells are blank. So now let's calculate what's the age of this person or if the person passed away how many days this person lived. By calculating the age I mean I'm subtracting the date of birth from today's date and we know that today's date can be extracted at any time by using today function. It's an argumentless function. If the person passed away, instead of subtracting the date of birth from today's date, I'll be subtracting the date of birth from the death date of this person. In this case, I'll be subtracting C2 from C3. Let's start with the first part. So I'll type equal date diff. And the date difference function is a function that requires three arguments. I do have some notes on another sheet, so I can show you that the date difference function requires a start date, an end date, and unit. So the start date is the earlier date, the end date is the later date, and the units could be in year, so I'll be returning the difference in years, I can return the difference in months, I can return the difference in days. But if you want to return the difference in months, excluding the full years, you use the units YM. If you want to return the difference in days, excluding the full years and the full months, you use the unit MD. Now let's go and create our date difference function. I start by typing equal date diff, and then I open bracket. Date diff stands for date difference, and then I open bracket for the date difference function. And the first thing I would like to do is to provide the earlier date. The earlier date is the date coming from cell C2, and then comma. Then I need the later date or the end date, and the end date is today's date, so I type today with an opening and a closing bracket, and then I hit comma. How would you like to return this difference? Well, let's start by returning the difference in years, so I type in double quotation Y which stands for year, and then when I close the bracket, look at that, it's returning 26. But you know what? I need to make it more descriptive. I want to say 26 years. 
and then extract the number of full months after extracting the number of full years and then extract the number of days. So I'll continue editing this function by putting it in the edit mode F2 and then I want the label years so in double quotation I type a space and then type years and then close the double quotation. Let's look at our function at this point when I hit enter it says 26 years. Let's continue building this function. I want to join it to another function. So before joining it to another function I want to say AND. So I'll be typing a joining operator AND and then in double quotation I want to show an AND symbol so I'll be typing AND and, and I could precede it with a space by the way so I type a space followed by an and and followed by a space and then I type a double quotation that will return the following when I hit enter 26 years and then a space and then and and then a space let's continue building the function by putting it in the edit mode I want to join it right now so I hit shift 7 on my keyboard I want to join it to another date difference function that will return the number of months excluding the full year so I'll type date diff and then I open bracket I want the difference between C2 and then comma and today's date so I type today open bracket and close bracket and then comma because I want the number of months excluding the full year so in double quotes I type Y M and then double quote and then close the bracket we know that this is the number of months so I need to join it to the uh, to a label so I type and shift 7 on your keyboard and then in double quotation space and then I type months and then a space and close the double quotation let's see what it would return at this point when I hit enter 26 years and 11 months I want to do the same exact thing for the number of days excluding the full years and the full month I put it in the edit mode and then I continue building my function by hitting and the shift 7 on your keyboard and I want to add an end symbol so I type it in double quotes space and space and double quote this is the end symbol that will appear it's not the one that joins and then I want to join it to the last date difference function so I type shift 7 and then type date diff this is my last date difference function for the first part I open bracket look at that I'm not getting the help of the intelligence list it's a function that is hidden in Excel Excel kept it for backward compatibility this function comes from older versions Lotus 1 2 3 date diff this time I'm calculating the difference between cell C2 and then comma and then uh, my second argument is today open bracket close bracket and then I hit comma and this time I would like to return the units MD which means I want to exclude the full month and keep only the days exceeding the full month and then I close the bracket another end symbol and our label this time will be double quote space days and then double quote and let's test our function when I hit enter look at this well Sherish Heinz lived 26 years 11 months and 24 days let's test how dynamic this function is I'm selecting a different person and when I select a different person automatically it extracts the difference between the date of birth and today's date well what if the person passed away if the person passed away then I would have a value here in cell C3 and I would like to extract the difference between these two not between the date of birth and today's date so my condition will be whether C3 has a value or not and I want to scoop out all this part so I'm selecting cell C5 I want to cut all this function control X and I want to say if C3 is blank that means this person is alive I want the date difference function that I just created and cut otherwise I want to create a new one that subtracts the difference between C2 and C3 equal if and then I open bracket if C3 equals blank what does it mean it means this person is alive and then I hit comma so what's the value if true the value if true is the function that I created a while ago the date difference function that subtracts the difference between C2 and today's date 
and there I hit comma. Now I'm in the last argument of the if function. What if it is not blank? What if C3 is not blank? In this case, I would like to create the same exact function, but I would like to replace today the three occurrences of today by C3. So instead of recreating this function, I'm going just to paste it one more time. So I'll hit Control V, and that's the second argument of the if function. And what I'm going to do is that I'll be replacing the today function by cell C3. And then I'll be replacing the today function in the third argument of the if function by cell C3. So I'm in fact subtracting C2, the date of birth, from C3, the date of death, only for the second part of the if function. Let's type C3 one last time, and I would have created this function. Let's look at this function by clicking in the if, and I'll be selecting the value if true. It's all this part. For the value if true, I'm subtracting C2 from today's date, but if I select the value if false and I'm clicking in the argument of the if function, the value if false argument of the if function, when I select this part, I'm calculating the difference between C2 and C3 instead of C2 and today, like the first part of this function. Now let's close the bracket of the if function, and when I hit enter, here is my function. Let's select a different name. Keep an eye on the labels. If I select a different name, it calculates the age of the person selected from the drop list. But let's say I'm going to select this one, and here is Chloe Bryant. Look at this. This is the date of birth. This is my dynamic label. Died on. She lived. And this is the age of this person. I created a dynamic setup. We created lots of functions, we created data validation, we named ranges, and we created some VLOOKUP function with rows functions. We also created some dynamic labels, we created multiple date difference function. It's a beautiful function. You can use it in situations like this. You can also use it if you have a list of employee names, the higher date of the employee, and the date the employee left the company. You can calculate at any time how long the employee has been working for the company. Date difference function, one of the hidden functions of Excel. If you enjoyed this training video, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in our next training video.